the negative of a vector is also unique. So for the proof, let u1 and u2 be negatives of the vector u. Then, vector u plus u1 is equal to 0 because by definition of a negative, um, if you add that to the vector u, the result is 0. And also, because u sub 2 is a negative of vector u, if you add that to the vector u, the result is the 0 vector. Thus, u1 plus the quantity u1 plus, I mean, the quantity u vector u plus vector u1 is equal to the vector u1 plus vector u plus vector u2. That is because of these two equations here. So, ito kasi equals to 0 and then the 0 is equal to this one. So, by transitivity, this vector and this vector are equal. So, we can replace this one by this. Okay. And then, it will follow that um, this equality holds because, again, these are vectors and so vector is uh, vector addition is associative by associativity this left side of the equation becomes this one and this right side of the equation becomes this one hence we have this equation here we replace this by zero because of this uh, equation and on the right side we replace this one by zero because of this equation also. So we have this one. Therefore, u1 is equal to u2 because this is a zero. So addition by zero becomes that same vector. And on the right side also, so addition by zero will be just u sub two. Therefore, u vector u1 is equal to vector u2 and so this shows that the negatives of a vector is unique consequently the negative of u is unique so since nag-iisa lang yung ating um, negative no? so this one here is uh, well defined so we can just write the negative of a vector as the negative of u. So, wala nang iba. Alright? We now show here other different types of vectors. Example number one, consider r to the n. So, the r to the n is the set of all n by 1 matrices whose components are a1, a2 up to a n with real entries. So, ang mga components nito ay mga real numbers because we are on R to the N. Let uh, vector addition be a matrix addition and scalar multiplication be a multiplication of matrix by a real number. In this case, we have the scalar multiplication. It can be verified that R to the N together with vector addition and scalar multiplication defined in this way is a vector space. Okay, so recall natin no, yung r squared. This is the two-dimensional plane. So take note that the, the members of the r squared are ordered pairs x, y where x and y here are real numbers and we also represented this one using matrix form as x, y so yung construction natin now for r cube naman we represent this one as ordered triples x, y, and z in matrix form you have x, y, and z also. 
Now, if you're going to replace this 3 by any number n, no greater than that, so for in that in our example number 1, that is r, r to the n. So, in kanyang representation, this is an ordered n tuples. Okay, so n tuples siya. And there are n of it. <coughs> So you have x sub 1, I will denote that x sub 1 for the first coordinate, x sub 2 up to x sub n. Alright, so that is x sub n. And the pansini nyo kanina, the matrix form of that, okay, this one is a set, no, with these entries x1 x2 up to xn okay so our goal now is to show that uh, rn together with okay so rn together with this vector addition and this scalar multiplication is a vector space so to show that one looking back at our definition we have to show all these properties so unahin muna natin ito okay if you and v are members of the set v then u plus v is in the vector of v okay so for property property a Kailangan natin kumuha ng dalawang members of V. In in this case, our V is uh, R. So, ito yung V natin, no? This is our vector space. So, we pick two members of V. So, let us say, let Okay, let U let us say vector u okay this matrix u1 u2 to un and the uh, vector v is this ma this matrix v1 v2 to vn all right so let me draw all right so let u and v be element of rn okay, then we need to show u plus v okay so u plus v is equal to u plus v is equal to, i-add lang din natin itong dalawa. So, u1, u2, to un, plus, this is our v. Okay, that is, uh, this is v1. Alright, so, please bear with me. Alright, so V1, V2, 2, Vn. Take note na may three dots ito dito. Okay, so this is equal to this is matrix addition. So again, so mag-add ka ng matrix. This is uh, corresponding entries or corresponding components are added. So ito, i-add mo doon. Ito, i-add mo doon. Ito i-add mo dyan. Okay? So, the result is this matrix. Okay, U1 plus V1. U2 plus V2 up to UN plus VN. Okay. Ang tanong, nasa V ba yan? Is it, um, is it in RN? 
So, because kailangan natin issue na nasa RN ito. Is it in RN? Kailan mo masasabi na nasa RN siya? Kailangan daw yung entries niya ay mga real numbers. So, ang tanong is U1 plus V1, U2 plus V2, and UN plus VN, mga real numbers ba yan sila? Yes or no? Alright, take note that U1 is a real number. V1 is a real number. Why? Because U1, uh, I mean U and V are in RN. So, by definition, uh, lahat ng entries ng U at lahat ng entries ng V ay mga real numbers. Yan siya. And so, there, therefore, U1 and V1 are real numbers. So that U1 plus V1 is also a real number. Why? Because the set of real numbers is closed under addition. Okay? The set of real numbers is closed under usual addition. No? So, usual addition. So, therefore, this particular matrix is an element of R to the N. And so we have shown our property letter A. Okay, so to show property letter B, that is, this one is commutativity. Okay, so property, property A1. Okay, so property number one tayo. So is U plus V equal to V plus U. So, ito yung isyo-show natin, no? Lagyan natin dito. To show. Right? So, to show that one. So, we start with the left. Left to right tayo. Okay. So, U plus V is equal to. Okay. Ulitin lang natin ito, no? So, U1, U2, 2, UN, plus V1, V2, 2, VN. Okay, so add natin. Okay, U1 plus V1. Actually, same lang siya sa taas. U2 plus V2 up to UN plus VN. Alright, so this is now equal to, we can equate this to uh, V1 plus V2. Ano? Uh, wait lang. This is... Alright, so this is equal to... Um, again, uh, ito sila ay mga real numbers. And we know that the set of real numbers is uh, commutative. No? Kaya pwede natin balik ta rin yung kanyang arrangement. So, this is V1 plus U1 for the, for the first component. For the second component, you have V2 plus U2 up to Vn plus Un. Okay, so that is now equal to this matrix and again we can split this one to have these two matrices because if you're going to add again this one it will give you this type of matrix and observe that this particular matrix is that vector u and this particular matrix is vector i mean this is vector v and this is vector u therefore we have shown here that u plus v is equal to v plus u. So, we have shown the uh, first, no? Or a1, property a1. 